The World Organization for Animal Health is an intergovernmental organization coordinating, supporting and promoting animal disease control. <laughs> Mission and status The main objective of the OI is to control epizootic diseases and thus to prevent their spread. Other objectives consist of, transparency, scientific information, international solidarity, sanitary safety, the promotion of veterinary services, food safety and animal welfare. It is recognized as a reference organization by the World Trade Organization and in 2018 had a total of 182 member states. Its newest member state is St. Lucia. The OI maintains permanent relations with 45 other international and regional organizations and has regional and sub-regional offices on every continent. The OI does not depend on the UN system, its autonomy is both institutional and financial and its activities are governed by its own constitutional texts. Since its first general session held in Paris, the office carries out its work under the authority of a committee consisting of delegates of the contracting governments. History The need to fight animal diseases at a global level led to the creation of the Office International des Epizootes through the international agreement signed on January 25, 1924. In May 2003 the office became the World Organization for Animal Health but kept its historical acronym OI. In January 2017, the outgoing Obama administration designated the OI as an organization entitled to benefits of the International Organizations Immunities Act. <laughs> Headquarters The OIE's headquarters are located in Paris, in the 17th arrondissement. It was in 1939 that the OI moved to the aristocratic district of Parc Monceau, after having occupied premises since 1927 near the Champs de Mars and the Eiffel Tower, that had been provided by the French Higher Public Health Council. In May 1938, the OI members gave Dr. Emmanuel Leclanche, founder and first general director of the OI, full powers to buy a townhouse in Paris, using the reserve fund. Dr. Leclinche chose the mansion from four properties selected by a commission comprising the president of the OI, HCLE. Berger Netherlands, the vice president, Carlo Basanti Italy, and the accountant, Gottlieb Fluckiger Switzerland. On the 22nd of February 1939, the OI, represented by E. Leclinche bought the mansion from the Marquise de Montebello, at a cost of 700,000 francs. The 13th General Session of the OI was held from May 30 to June 5, 1939 at 12 Rue de Prony after rebuilding work had been completed. Due to the Second World War, the following General Session did not take place until 1946, from 2 to 5 October. Following their entry into Paris in June 1940, the German occupying forces temporarily closed and sealed the OI headquarters. The efforts of the president, Gottlieb Fluckiger, elected in 1939, resulted in its reopening. 12 Rue de Prony was built in 1879, in the Neo-Renaissance style, by the celebrated architect Jean-Louis Pascal for the Austrian baron, Jonas Königswater, a former banker and railway owner. A succession of major works to renovate and modernize the headquarters were undertaken by the directors general elected after Ila Clainche, Gaston Ramon, René Vitoz, Louis Blagin, Jean Blancou, and Bernard Vallet. Due to the headlong development of the organization, tripling of the staff and the budget since 2001, additional premises have been rented at 14 Rue de Prony since 2004. On 16 March 2009, the OI purchased a large part of the building at 14 Rue de Prony, adjoining its headquarters. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> World Animal Health Information Database (WAHID) interface. Timely dissemination of information is crucial to containing outbreaks. The WAHID interface provides access to all data held within OIE's new World Animal Health Information System It replaces and significantly extends the former web interface named Handestatus 2 system. A comprehensive range of information is available from Immediate notifications and follow-up reports submitted by member countries in response to exceptional disease events occurring in these countries as well as follow-up reports about these events Six monthly reports describing the OI-listed disease situations in each country Annual reports providing further background information on animal health, on laboratory and vaccine production facilities <laughs>